Hello everyone, welcome to my never education and today we will discuss the weekly current affairs the world this week, 4th week of March 2022. So let us discuss but before we are going to start I want to discuss that. If you are preparing for the IPMAT, NPAT, SET General, CHRIST, CUCT, GIPMAT and many more and if you are targeting the IIM and top MBA colleges in India, so don't worry, batch is launched by the Manuver Education where you can get the live classroom coaching, uh, books, shortcut tricks for your examination and many more doubt solving sessions where you can solve your doubts with the help of the faculty members and you can also get the recorded videos for your future and you can also get the topic wise test, mock test and you can also get the WhatsApp group where you can solve your queries and doubts with the help of the faculty members in this kind of the groups. You can also get the 10,000 plus questions test for your practice one and you can also get the mentorship program with the help of the examination mentor. If you are looking for the classroom coaching at the Mumbai, so we have a three centers at Dadar, Borivali and Vasai. You can visit our center also. So what are you waiting for guys? Book your seat now and call on 882-858-1454. You can also visit our web Website, which is called manuvereducation.com slash BBA entrance. Uh, where was the India Japan Annual Summit 2022 held? So there are the four options over here Tokyo, New Delhi, Chennai, Osaka. So correct answer is the New Delhi. Is it clear? So Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Japanese counterpart Fumio Kishida held talks in New Delhi during the India Japan Annual Summit 2022. After the meet, the Indian Prime Minister announced that Japan is set to invest 5 trillion yen. Uh, or rupees 3.2 lakh crore in India over next five years. So this is a Japan Prime Minister's first visit to India as the head of the Japanese government. Okay, let us move on the next question. Which country has developed a realist, uh, relativistic calcium amplifier it stands for the RKA which can destroy satellites in a space? India, Russia, China or Israel. So correct answer is the China. Okay. Let us discuss the description. China has recently developed a microwave machine. Relativistic calcium amplifier it stands for the RKA that could jam or destroy satellite in space. The device can generate a wave burst measuring 5 megawatts in the car Boyend. It is a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum used for both civil and military purpose we can say that and directed energy weapons it stands for the DEW okay directed energy weapons use contracted electromagnetic energy to destroy enemy equipment or the personnel. Let us move on the next question. India advocated the biological and toxin weapons conventions it stands for the BTWC at which international body so there are the four options over here United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees UNHCR United Security Council it stands for the UNSC United Nations Environmental Program it stands for the UNEP and internal court of justice it stands for the ICG so correct answer is the United Nations Security Council so let us discuss the description India advocated the biological and toxin weapons convention stands for the BTWC at the United Nations Security Council UNSC okay so India announced that it attaches uh, high importance to the BTWC convention as a key non discriminatory uh, discriminatory disarmament conventions prohibiting an entire category of weapons of mass destructions okay let us move on the next one which, India ha which Indian has been appointed to United Nations Advisory Board on Executive Multilateralism? Okay, so there are the four options over here. So, correct answer is the Jayati Ghosh. Okay, so uh, Jayati Ghosh has been appointed by United Nations Security General Antony Guterres to the Advisory Board on Effective Multilateralism. Okay, United Nations Chief Guterres announced the establishment of the new high level to be co chaired by former Liberalian President. President and Nobel literate Alan Johnson, Sir Leif and former Swedish Prime Minister Stephen Lofen. Okay, so you have to remember this thing and you can see the photo of the Jayati Ghosh. Okay, let us move on the next one. Germany has signed the energy deal with which northeastern country to reduce its dependence on the Russia. 
सो देर आर दी फोर ऑप्शन और यर कुवैत कतार ओमान और यूनाइटेड अरब इमिरेट सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द करेक्ट आंसर सो करेक्ट आंसर इज दी कतार ओके लेट एस डिस्कस द डिस्क्रिप्शन ओवर हियर सो जर्मनी हैज साइन द एनर्जी डील विद द कतार एज लॉन्ग टर्म एनर्जी पार्टनरशिप वी कैन से दैट एंड रशिया हैज बीन द लार्जेस्ट सप्लायर ऑफ द गैस एज वेल एज टू द नेचुरल गैस रिगार्डिंग टू द जर्मनी इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस थिंग नॉर्ड स्ट्रीम वन एंड नॉर्ड स्ट्रीम टू ओके इज इट क्लियर एंड जर्मनी यूरोप बिगेस्ट इकोनॉमी इन सिकिंग टू बिकम लेस डिपेंडेंट ऑन रशिया एंड रशियन एनर्जी सोर्स वी कैन से दैट आफ्टर द रशिया स्टार्टेड टू इन्वेड यूक्रेन द पोर्शन ऑफ द यू Ukraine, we can say, and Qatar's Emir and Germany's minister also discussed ways to enhance bilateral relationships or bilateral relations in the year of these energy sector. Okay, so you have to remember this thing and uh, please take care about the flag, which is called the Qatar flag. Is it clear? Let us move on the next one. The golden langur uh, is an endangered species in native to which of the following country India Bhutan India Sri Lanka India Bangladesh or Laos and Cambodia if we talk about the correct answer so correct answer is the India and Bhutan okay so golden langur it stands for the Praxipichis uh, gi is an endangered primate species that is disturb uh, distributed along the boundary of the Bhutan and India as per a recent study there is a significant decline in the habitat of golden langur langur and the intensity of human langur conflict is increasing due to enhancement human footprints in the habitat of this species is it clear so you have to take care about this thing and the boundary which is called the india and bhutan is it clear let us move on the next one Shaksham, which was seen in the news recently, is an offshore patrol vessel of which armed forces? Indian Navy, Indian Army, Indian Coast Guard, and Indian Air Force. If we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the Indian Coast Guard. Is it clear? I C G. Uh, the Indian Coast Guard stands for the I C R. Okay, Indian National. Huh, uh, the Indian Coast Guard has commissioned ICGS Shaksham, the fifth uh, Coast Guard ship in the series of the 105M class offshore patrol vessels. You can see the photo over here. Okay, ICGS Shaksham is the fifth and last offshore patrol vessel designed and developed by the Goa Shipyard Limited uh, for the Coast Guard. The vessel uses totally uh, indigenous steering gear and gearbox, which was being imported earlier. Okay, so in this particular question you have to remember this thing regarding the indian coast guard 105 m class 1 uh, goa shipyard uh, limited ke dwara isko build up kiya gaya hai and regarding the shaksham icgs shaksham is it clear let us move on the next one uh, x the slack uh, is a joint defense exercise held between the armed forces of india and which country sri lanka france uzbekistan or oman if we talk about the correct answer so correct answer is the uzbekistan Okay, the third edition of the joint training exercise between India's and Uzbekistan's armies named X the Slick uh, begin in Uzbekistan's Yangirik. Okay, so you have to remember this name Uzbekistan's Yangirik. Okay, uh, India is represented by its Grenadiers Regiment, while the Uzbek Army contingent is represented by the troops of the Northwestern Military District. Is it clear? The last edition of the Slick was held in the Uttarakhand Rani Khet. Please remember this thing. लास्ट फॉर द लास्ट एडिशन कहां पर हुआ था उत्तराखंड के रानी खेत में हुआ था इज इट क्लियर एंड द जॉइंट एक्सरसाइज विल फोकस ऑन काउंटर टेररिज्म ऑपरेशन इन द सेमी अर्बन टेरियन इज इट क्लियर लेट अस मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट वन बिप्लोबी भारत गैलरी वाज रिसेंटली इनएग्युरेटेड एट व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सिटी भुवनेश्वर कोलकाता गुवाहाटी और शिमला इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द करेक्ट आंसर सो करेक्ट आंसर इज द कोलकाता इज इट क्लियर Uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Bipalobi Bharat Gallery at Victoria uh, Victoria Memorial Hall Kolkata via video conferencing on the occasion of the Shahid Divas jo ki 23rd March ko observe kiya jata hai is it clear the gallery showcased the contribution of the revolutionaries in the freedom struggle and their resistance to British colonial rule it showcased the british uh, it showcased the birth of the revolutionary movement formation of the association by revolutionary leaders spread of the movement formation of the indian national army contribution of the naval mutiny among four others okay so you have to take care about this thing and yahan par aap gallery ka photo bhi dekh sakte hain jahan par hamare uh, revolutionaries hain uske photos lage hain is gallery ke andar is it clear let us move on the next one 
what is the main objective uh, of the Sujalam 2.0 campaign. So, there are the four options over here ground water conservation, grey water management, rain water management and flood management. Is it clear? If we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the grey water management. So, Jal Shakti Ministry Gajendra Singh Shekhawat has recently launched the Sujalam 2.0 campaigning uh, for grey water management. Grey water is waste water for from non, uh, non toilet plumbing systems. The theme of this year's campaign is ground water making the invisible uh, invisible visible. Is it clear? So, you have to take care about this particular theme. Is it clear? Okay, you have to remember this thing. Uh, under the campaign, government will mobilize communities, panchayat, schools to undertake the grey water management. Okay, let us move on the next one. Which organization successfully test fired the surface to surface Brahmos supersonic cruise missile ISRO, DRDO, HAL or BHEL? Is it clear? So, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the DRDO, Defense Research Development and Organization successfully test fired the surface to surface Brahmos supersonic cruise missile in the Andaman Nicobar Island. The extended range missile hits uh, its target with pinpoint accuracy, we can say that, and one of the missiles earlier missed fired due to technical malfunction from an Indian Air Force uh, unit during a command air staffing inspection. It stands for the CASI. Is it clear? Let us move on the next one. Uh, which country is the host of the BIMSTEC summit in 2022? India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh. So, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is Sri Lanka. Okay. So, the Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Corporation that stands for the BIMSTEC. Okay. BIMSTEC summit is hosted by Sri Lanka in 2022. BIMSTEC charter and the BIMSTEC master plan for transport connectivity are proposed to be signed during the Sri Lanka summit. BIMSTEC was established in 1997, okay, in 1997 and it comprises seven member states, Bangladesh, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Myanmar and Thailand. Is it clear? So, you have to remember this thing. Kon kon se member hai BIMSTEC and there are countries hai, uh, Bangladesh, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Okay, Sri Lanka and Myanmar and Thailand. Is it clear? Let us move on the next one. Who has been awarded the Abel Prize 2022? Dennis, uh, Curtis, William or Hall? So, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the Dennis Parnell Sulvin. Okay. So, the Abel Prize of the year 2022 has been awarded to Professor Dennis. It is awarded annually to outstanding mathematicians. The award was established by the Norwegian government in 2002 and is, it is managed by the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters. Professor Solvin was, uh, Solvin was awarded the prize for his contributions to topology uh, in particular its algebraic, geometric and dynamical aspects. Is it clear? So, you have to remember this thing. Okay. Let us move on the next one. What is India's GDP's growth rate projection for 2022 to 23 uh, FY23 as per Organization for Economic Corporation, uh, Cooperation and Development? It stands for the O. Huh. OECD is it clear? So, 8.7%, 8.5%, 8.3% or 8.1%. So, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the 8.1%. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development O. ECD has retained the outlook for India's real gross domestic product GDP at 5.5 percent in FY24, lower than 8.1 percent in 2022 to 23. Is it clear? Let us move on the next one. What is the theme of the Wings India 2022? Flying for all highlights, uh, flying for all India at the 75 and India Global Aviation Hub. Okay, if we talk about the correct answer, so correct answer is the India at the 75 new horizon for aviation industry. Is it clear? Let us discuss the description over here. Uh, there is a description, the theme of the event India's at the 75 new horizon for aviation industry. So you can see the photo over here. Is it clear? 24th. 27th March ke beech mein ye sari cheeze hui thi okay so thanks for the today session before we complete i want to discuss that 
If you are preparing for the IP mat, NPAT, SET General, CRIST, CUCT, JIP mat and many more and if you are targeting the IIM and top MBA colleges in India, so don't worry, batch is launched by the Manivare Education where you can get the live classroom coaching, uh, books, shortcut tricks for your examination and many more doubt solving sessions where you can solve your doubts with the help of the faculty members and you can also get the recorded videos for your future and you can also get the topic wise test, mock test and you can also get the WhatsApp group where you can solve your queries and doubts with the help of the faculty members in this kind of the groups you can also get the 10000 plus questions test for your practice one and you can also get the mentorship program with the help of the examination mentor if you are looking for the classroom coaching at the mumbai so we have a three centers at dadar borivali and vasai you can visit our center also so what are you waiting for guys book your seat now and call on 8828581454 you can also visit our web Website, which is called manavereducation.com slash bba entrance thank you jahim once again and we will meet tomorrow 11 am onwards which is uh, on monday okay and we will discuss the daily current affairs and the hindu news analysis is it clear so please be present over here and if you really like this session so please like this session and please share this session with your friends family members and colleagues who are preparing for this particular examination and if you are really like this session if you are really appreciate this session and uh, if you are the new family member so please just subscribe our channel for your uh, regular updates and notification regarding the session and videos and the knowledge okay so once again please like share and subscribe the particular sessions okay so once again thank you jai hind bye bye take care and always welcome